Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This is the May edition of the top 5 tutorials for After Effects. I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos and to those who are new, welcome. And also to those who subscribe and give us a like, it's very much appreciated. It's the 5th month and we have 5 more amazing tutorials. I'd just like to add that over the coming months I will be releasing some of my own tutorials. And I'm also creating a script to help new users to After Effects and that will be free when released and I will keep you posted. So let's get started and take a look at the first video. So first up we have this really cool tutorial by Animation Deconstructed. What you'll learn in this video are two great motion graphics techniques. The first part of the tutorial shows you how to model and texture a 3D object in the third party plugin Element 3D. And the second part of the tutorial sees us diving into making the pulsating background effect. I really love tutorials that use not only the inbuilt effects, but also some great third party plugins like Element 3D. The second video this month is from the guys over at Cinecom. They are always killing it and this video is no exception. What you'll learn are three very trendy K-pop visual effects. These are an eye zoom transition, a glitch transition and an eye glow trail effect. Aside from learning to create these effects and after effects, you also get to see what happens on the pre-production side of things. You see them set up the scene and explain what they are doing. Also, understanding this side of production can help when you are trying to figure out new techniques for yourself. All in all, another stellar video from these guys. The third tutorial is by Evan Abrams, and quite frankly, who doesn't love a video about creating emojis? What's fantastic about this tutorial is not just the sheer depth Evan goes into explaining how to create this effect, but also how you can also use stock elements and still create really cool work. I'd love to pinpoint a specific area of the tutorial, but honestly, it's just worth watching. The fourth video comes via Motion Nations. In this tutorial, you will learn how to place text into a 3D scene. What I really like is that we delve into a couple of different areas. Firstly, we look at how to get tracking data or tracking points from a piece of footage and we do this using the 3D camera tracker and afterwards we learn about not only using text layers but using 3D text layers. This is a whole new realm and there's so many more possibilities. Check it out. And the last video of the May Roundup is from Ucromedia. This video focuses on an area of After Effects you may not be familiar with and that's scripting. Scripting offers you the ability to create scripts, build tools, and automate your workflow. The video is hosted by Andrew Marston and Nate Lovell. While this isn't specifically a tutorial and more of a Q&A, there are certainly some interesting questions asked and answered. You learn what a script in After Effects is, and also how you can go about creating scripts. This is most definitely worth checking out. And even if you don't pursue this area of After Effects, it's always good to know it exists. Alright, well thanks again guys. If you like this video and would like to see more, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification icon too. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments. And also head over to our website, aftereffectsbeginner.com and sign up to our newsletter.